Grand Theft, Vice City, we're doing the ambulance missions. Okay, this will unlock the infinite sprint after 12 levels. And uh, it's going to take a few videos to get all those levels in. Okay, I picked the hospital in the northern part of the first island. Um, it just seems like it was easier to do it up here compared to the hospital on the south end of the island. Uh, both are going to have you going back and forth to the hospital. Uh, I just found that uh, I was able to work this upper hospital a little bit better than the southern one. Um, it's not that it's hard, but it's real easy for one of these patients to run into you or you hit them accidentally. Uh, a lot of times I would pull up to them and they just kind of run to you and hit the ambulance and end up dying and then the mission fails. So that's happened quite a bit. But I found that on this northern hospital, I was able to make a nice run, get the routine down. They're always going to send you out to the, the beach at some point. The first levels obviously are fairly easy, you know, no big deal. But eventually they're going to have you going north, south to the beach and so on. So it makes you think, all right, where do I got to go? I got to go down here, then I got to go up there. Uh, try to work it to the, you know, your advantage. When doing uh, these uh, missions, I would like to try to get to the farthest patient and then work my way back to the hospital. And right there, I noticed that I screwed up. I took the bridge over to Prawn Island, and that's not good. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing there. Vice City is like any of the games you ever play. Obviously, it's an O2 game uh, by today's standards, uh, you know. But Vice City was the game that pretty much got me into gaming full time, and uh, just a fun game to play. Uh, just wish that it had like the the San Andreas type of mechanics. Obviously, San Andreas was a you know, newer. And that was like an O4 game. This is an O2. Uh, it's just with Vice City, you can't really use the right stick to pivot the camera. And uh, the driving is very touchy, so... But it's like playing Grand Theft 4, you play it a lot, you start to learn how to, you know, to work the driving in that game. You know, Saints Row is a whole different style, different compared to Grand Theft, so... You know, you, you adapt your, uh, your style of gaming to that. Okay, I'm not using the sirens, uh, mostly because it's annoying as hell and it doesn't seem to help as much as you would think. I mean, it's more about just uh, driving smoothly and uh, hoping for the best. Like I mentioned before, these patients kind of do their own thing sometimes and you can't predict what they're going to do. And a lot of times they'll run towards the ambulance and uh, if you're not quite stopped, uh, it could uh, knock them down. I can't tell you I've been on, you know, level 11, and the patients get, you know, gets ran over accidentally. You're like, oh, uh, a lot of time invested. And uh, unfortunately. You got to keep your ambulance uh, in well condition for that whole 12 levels too. So uh, it's really up to you to keep your uh, your ride and mechanically sound. So you got to take the time and not crash it and run into things. With the vigilante, you can pick up any police vehicle and you can continue on with the mission. But if you get out of the ambulance, it's going to end the mission. I definitely like the beach. It's uh, you know traffic free. 
just uh, be cautious when your speed when you get towards the patient uh, you can see that I'm going wide and trying to be like at a stop by the time I get there When you get to the northern part of the beach, just uh, be cautious. Right there is the little RC track, and uh, you don't really want to be taking the ambulance through there. If you flip your ambulance, uh, obviously it's over. I like to try to ride uh, the edge of the sand, seems the smoothest, and then uh, this gap puts you right at that intersection that'll, you know, right there at the hospital, and again, if you got the time, just, you know, do it smooth, don't, uh, try not to hit anything. get a look at what we gotta do here okay now this is when they uh, you start to have to do multiple trips to the hospital yeah they're not getting me this time <laughs> Once they start making a move for the door, you know, I get the hammer down. Please, mister, I need to get by. Try to take it easy by that sign there. It's got a little whoop that I like to throw you. You see the clock ticking down. It makes you like, oh, I gotta, you know, put the hammer down. But out here on the beach, uh, no traffic, but uh, it's easy to flip this thing. And again, I'm doing my best to go wide from the patients, give them a little birthing room. Okay, with this side mission, I believe after you drop off your first load, you'll get a bonus in time, but uh, after that, you won't. So later on, when you have to make two or three trips to the hospital to get all the people in, uh, you only get a bonus on your first one uh, by memory, but we will see that in the next few videos, if that's true or not. But right there, it gave us a bonus. Now we got to get down to the south part and get this dude and again I'll get a time bonus when I pick him up so uh, you know you need to be quick but you know try not to hit stuff so it's better to go slower and keep your vehicle in good shape than it is to go fast and crash it all the time because it's not gonna last so I was pushing it there. I couldn't see what uh, was going on, but obviously she didn't get hit, so she's in and we're back to the hospital. I gotta get out.
Okay. As you can see, as you're starting to get through these levels, you can see the pattern, you know, this corner up here, um, pretty much going there almost every level. And then uh, when you get to the, the higher ones, 10 and 11, you know, they'll have multiple patients down this strip. Definitely push your luck when you're going past that sign at some speed. Okay, go back and get the next two. Simple enough out on the beach. Best way to do that, shoot past them just enough so they can run to you and uh, be careful not to back up. Okay, once we get these two dropped off, that's going to take care of the first five levels and then we will cut in with the next video. for life vice city okay that takes care of the first five 